Hi and welcome. I am Willow Grace and thank you for joining me as we take a look ahead at your astrology forecast for the month of July. Now before we begin, if you are interested in working with me, you can visit my webpage to schedule a tarot or astrology consultation. You can also learn and participate by signing up for one of my classes and webinars. If you'd like to receive your monthly astrology up update by email, this can be found at willowgracemystic.com or click in the link below. Thank you for following and commenting, and if you want to receive your updates as soon as they're released, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. So let's dive in. Gemini. Now for the month of July, we are enjoying this beautiful period of planning, launching, and moving forward. From June 19th to August 21st, all personal planets, they're now, they're moving direct, and we have the benefit of uh, a break from eclipse season. Now, it doesn't mean that things are not going to happen. This is basically the universe giving us an opportunity to integrate what has shifted and changed in our lives, a time to breathe easier. It's This time is an opportunity to gain more clarity, to be more ambitious. It's a perfect time to launch things for to move forward, uh, new activities, new events. It can literally mean moving or starting a new adventure, a new relationship, um, a new business. It's a time to invest in your dreams, your aspirations, to be able to travel freely from uncertainty and to manifest and create. Take advantage of this opportunity to manifest and grow your life and your experience because this will be the last time until the spring of 2023. Use it. Now, for an overall picture of July, we currently have three outer planets that are stationed retrograde. This means that the planet's energy is somewhat blocked externally. This means that the planet's energy is um, focused more internally, having to integrate or rebuild. We have traditional Saturn requiring us to focus on rebuilding structures in our lives. And we're going to be looking to review these foundations and these rules to see if they're really serving their purpose or if they're in need of restructuring. Um, we also have the intense planet of Pluto encouraging us to work with the collective as a whole to transform these structures for the next generation, a build it so it will last attitude. And we have dreamy Neptune. Now, Neptune retrograde will strip away any illusions that have clouded your vision. It's an opportunity to be more in tune with your dreams, your psychic abilities, in order to gain clarity on what really needs restructuring or transformed in your personal lives and globally. We have the sun in the watery sign of cancer, and cancer is ruled by the moon. The moon represents our emotions, and it controls the tides, so it's shining and reflecting. The, this energy is going to provide us with the capacity to flow and meet the emotional needs of others and be in tune with our desire to nurture. Themes, that, uh, themes at this time will include networking, gathering with friends and family, and everyone's going to be happy with these connections that are made at this time. And for you, this is in your second house of what do I love? What do I value? Things that I want to surround myself with, taking time with this. On July 1st, um, this we are going to now experience uh, our first challenging aspect. It will be between um, Mars and Aries that will be squaring off with Pluto in Capricorn and Capricorn's retrograde. So Mars represents the God of war and it's facing head on. And so this can be seen as others asserting their will upon us or it can be us asserting our will upon people. So many people are gonna feel this transit as a form of attention point or that our voice is just not being heard. This is not a good time to antagonize others. This is, a, this is when you should avoid strife and discord at the very least. Mars wants his ways and this could be at our expense. So tune into your intuition and avoid these confrontations because this is going to be with your social network groups, your, your people that you hang around with for fun or for work. And this could cause conflict in those areas of your life. It's also um, networking for fun, pleasure. This could be on the internet and like groups, social groups that you belong to um, through technology or in person. Then around July 2nd, 
Um, and again, on July 12th, we're going to have the energy of a trine. Now, this is in air. So it means thoughts, ideas, and written communication. We're, they're going to be especially positive for this launch period. First, we're going to have Mercury, then Venus activated by Gemini. This is going to fuel the fuel the um, uh, the long-term projects that Saturn wants to be involved in. Saturn wants to plant seeds, ideas that are going to stand the test of time to grow for the future. Future. Mercury in Gemini is our writing, our thoughts, our ideas, our communication, and it wants them to be clear. Venus represents our relationship with others. And together, this means we're going to have a lot of energy to share our ideas clearly for what we want to create for the future in working with others. And for you, this is going to be your house of self. This is all about you in the outside world. What do you want to convey or change about yourself and clearly have people have it not be misunderstood? Then on July 5th, we're going to have two aspects that are going to occur. The first is with Mercury. Remember, Mercury travels very, very fast through the zodiac. And the, this is the planet of communication and technology, and it's going to enter cancer. The second is Mars, the planet of willpower and drive. It's going to move into the stable sign of Taurus. This means that we're going to feel a connection to all things that are related to our home, our family, our communication and our reactions may be slower, more gentle. This is about using your energy to transform your thinking about these long-term goals and have personal determination to succeed. This is you with your personal money, your income, your, um, uh, your, uh, your, what you value. And it's going to be networking, uh, with your, your friends, your social circles, and your it's Taurus is your 12th house. And so how do you bring these things together with, um, how do you communicate? How do you, um, move these things forward? So it'll be about slowing things down and clearing things out. Um, next on July 13th, we're gonna have a super full moon in Capricorn. Now, full moons, they bring endings, closures, and they reveal things that are hidden. This full moon is going to appear larger and brighter than a typical full moon because it's a super full moon and we're gonna feel this grounded energy. This time is gonna be related to determination and ambition, the will to succeed, Capricorn energy works very slow and steady, one step at a time, climbing to the top of the mountain for success. Capricorn is a feminine sign that will give its strength to our resolve to work concise concisely. Some people may feel hurt that they are um, unappreciated at this time. Doubts may creep into our mind and our lives. Repressed things may be revealed. Themes are going to center around work, father, maternal figures, professional aspirations, our career, achievements, legacy. So with you, this is occurring in your eighth house of shared resources. So something is going to be illuminated of what is yours, what is mine, what is ours together. This is the life, death, rebirth house. It is um, signed contracts and documents. And for you, this can reveal something in this house that will be um, changed and reworked. Then on July 16th, we're going to have a sun and Mercury transit. Since Mercury is moving direct now, the focus is going to be on how we effectively convey our thoughts and our ideas. It's going to be a really good time for making plans, buying, selling, negotiating. We can expect an increase in our personal interaction at home and a perfect opportunity to address issues in relationships. And this could also include anything that has to do with things that you value, your money, your personal income. This is your second house. On July 17th, Venus, the planet of love, is going to be entering the sensitive sign of cancer. So at this time, you're going to be wanting stability. You're going to be wanting security in your home, your work, your relationships, be it personal or work. You're going to be want, you're going to feel more in tune to the energy of others, and you're going to be seeking out commitments for a safe future. Then on July 19th, 
Mercury, the planet of communication, is going to be now moving into the fiery planet, I'm sorry, the fiery um, sign of Leo. Now, Chiron, the wounded healer, is also going to be stationing retrograde on the same day. Mercury in Leo is very passionate, and it's about our communication. And Chiron is the wounded healer. It's about turning our healing opportunities inward, finding a way to take our pain and our feelings and communicating them with others using passionate words in order to help others heal. Next, on July 20th, on July 20th, the sun is going to oppose the transformational planet of Pluto. Now, the sun is still in the watery sign of cancer, so this can indicate a crisis in, a, in our lives or in an event that could affect our energy, either personally or globally. Many people are going to experience these intense feelings of self-doubt. Some people may want to end some work that's already in progress, even if they're not satisfied with the result. They're going to want to end important things, and decisions can be cold and stubborn at this time because this is Pluto. So take the time to focus on transforming your own thoughts into positive ones. This for you is in your house of, of personal belongings, your own personal finances, and what belongs to others. So use caution at this time. On July 22nd, the sun is going to flow from the watery sign of cancer, and it's going to move into its home sign of Leo. The summer is now really going to begin to heat up with some fire and some passion. The sun in astrology, it symbolizes the core essence of who you are, your individuality, your sense of self. The sun in Leo is going to turn our focus to love and passion and self-expression. Our thoughts are going to have greater interest in joy and a carefree life. We're going to feel more confident. We're going to have more energy. We're going to be ripe for adventure, and we're going to be motivated to look for fun experiences and opportunities opportunities where your talent can be highlighted. So allow your inner child to come out, create some memories, um, take time to discover the unknown and take risks. You're going to be rewarded with these beautiful, positive experiences. This is the perfect time to discover what you enjoy, to focus on things that you love, to gain the self-confidence that was lost and to build your inner happiness. And for you, this is all about your third house of siblings and things that are close to home and writing and technology and bringing this all together. Is this time to start writing the blog? Is it time to start working on publishing the book? Is it connecting with your neighbors or connecting with relatives? Next on July 28th, we're going to have two big events. We're going to have a passionate new moon in Leo and Jupiter stationing retrograde. Now to begin with, new moons always bring opportunities for a fresh start, new beginnings, clean slates. It's a time to commit to a positive intentions um, that are made from the heart. This is um, a time to seize these inspirations for your goals and your plans. Remember that new moons are meant to start something new, to launch these creative projects, to be open to themes of generosity and abundance and optimism because it's a Leo theme. This is a powerful new beginning that's going to pave the way for something better. You have cleared yourself of spiritual baggage, and now you have this fresh canvas to paint this new reality, to to plant these seeds and let the magic evolve and happen over time. And then Jupiter. Jupiter is known as the great benefic. Um, the great benefic brings fortune and blessings. This expansive planet is now joining the other outer planets and stationing retrograde for the next four months. Therefore, the energy of expansion is going to turn more inward. All planned renovations, be it your feelings, business, home, they should be planned for other dates. Um, major repairs and changes in the house that are made when um, not during retrograde, um, because it's about working, working on what is going within. This is going to be a period to reconnect and realign with your inner compass, with a greater expansive consciousness, basically your source within. Jupiter's focused mo mostly on developing life goals and directions. So Jupiter retrograde makes it easier to see what we do and do not have. So we can analyze the present and we can be more realistic with what should we focus on for our best future. And then on July 31st, 
The intellectual planet of Mercury, it's going to oppose the great teacher Saturn. Mercury is in the fiercely proud and protective sign of Leo, and Saturn is in the visionary sign of Aquarius. So they're going to be squaring off. This can be a time of shaking our stability and our foundation. This transit can bring sadness or bad news. It'll create some type of tension or challenging situation that you can overcome by working on the positive, by finding this source yourself. Take time to think carefully before you're speaking and not making hasty decisions that can put you in an uncomfortable situation. Critical thinking um, can find shortcomings in others and draw attention to their own mistakes. This transit is a great opportunity to work with emotions to overcome being strongly opinionated and defensive so you can gain your intellectual ability to accomplish any goal that you set for yourself. And for you, this is your writing, your journaling, your close to home, and your what you want to do out into the world, your spiritual aspirations, you're connecting with people far and wide. So combine those two together and work with it. Thank you for listening and watching this video. If you would like to receive updates as soon as they are released, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel below. Please make sure that you can share with friends who you think would benefit from this information. To sign up for my newsletter, you can visit willowgracemystic.com or click the link below. I would love to hear your thoughts on how this energy is manifesting in your life in the comments below. I heart you.